What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome to today's tutorial where I'll be showing you guys how to create an HDR effect within Photoshop. It's very quick and easy. Let's go ahead and begin. All right, so here is the image I'm going to be working with. I'm going to go ahead and show you the before and after. So right now what you're seeing is the before image. And then right now is the after image. So this is pretty much an HDR of what you're going to be seeing. So this is really, it's a really cool effect. You can do it with any pictures. It doesn't have to be with cars or anything. It just makes um, the image more, like the exposure will be higher and more vivid. And the details will come out uh, like it will, the details will be just stronger pretty much. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the background because that's the uh, after image. And to do this first, make sure that your layer is locked. So it's going to be like background uh, layer or something like that. Just don't mess with the layer when you first open the image in Photoshop. Once you've done that, press Command J to make a copy of our bottom layer. And uh, a lot of people have this option where they can't move it. And it says could not move the tool because the layer is locked. Well, if you want to move it, you actually have to double click it and create a layer. But if you already did that, then it's already locked. You can just click the, uh, the layer right here. But uh, make sure you have your layer uh, one copy and go over to filter, go down to uh, other and go to high pass. So here we go ahead and select a radius between, I don't know, 3.2 and four and a half. Uh, I'm going to choose 3.5. I'm going to click OK. In our blending option, we're going to go ahead and choose vivid light. And we're going to go ahead and right click on our layer and we're going to select flatten image. We're going to make another copy of our background image, so press Command J or Control J if you're on a PC. Once you have done that, go down to Filter, go to Other, and go to High Pass. Once you have gone to High Pass, we're going to go ahead and choose a radius between 6.8 and 7, uh, 7.5. So I'm going to go ahead and select 7, just because why not. Click OK, and we're going to go ahead and select our blending option. We're going to go ahead and select Color. All right, now the opacity, we're going to go ahead and drop this down to 30%, 30 or 35%. I keep it at 35%. So same thing, select the layer, right click, go down to flatten image, and we'll flatten the image. Now we're going to go ahead and create another copy, press Command J or Control J on a PC, go down to filter, and I'm going to go ahead and go to blur, and I'm going to go to Gaussian blur. All right, so once we've done that, radius, keep it between, um, I don't know, what is it, uh, 8 and 9, I think. So I keep it 9.3, depending on the image. Just keep it between 9 and 10. So just click OK. And uh, once you have done that, go down to Filter. Go to uh, Noise and click Add Noise. Right here, we're going to go ahead and select an amount. Uh, choose between 3 and 5. I kept it at 3%. The distribution is on Uniform and Monochromatic is unchecked. Click OK. I'm going to go ahead and go over to Layer. We're going to go down to Layer Mask, and we're going to go to Hide All. So now you're going to see on our layer, you're going to have a black box selected. Go to the left and select your Brush Tool, or press B on your keyboard for the shortcut. And if you want to uh, make your brush size bigger or smaller, use the left or right bracket key. Um, so that's just a quick shortcut to use that. So I'm going to do this right here. Make sure that the size, or actually the hardness is at uh, zero. We want to use a soft brush. And that the opacity, make sure you select this right here, is at 30%. So keep that at 30%. All right, good. Select the image. Make sure our foreground is white and our background is black. So you can easily do that by clicking this or pressing X on your keyboard for the shortcut. And we're going to go ahead and uh, like paint or brush over. Uh, the background except our subject which is our car so if you're gonna be doing this and there's a person you want to select everything besides the person or whatever you you're trying to do so I'm gonna go ahead and brush over this right here and this will just pretty much get rid it will kind of blur the the background giving it that HDR effect so you can see over here it's all black so once I have done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click and we're going to go ahead and flatten the image. And uh, so once we have done that, go uh, over to filter and you want to go to uh, sharpen. All right, go to sharpen. 
I'm going to unsharp mask. And the amount, this is where stuff gets uh, crazy. So if you want uh, an HDR effect to really pop out, I would say increase the amount to, I don't know, 95%. And the radius, this is where you can actually control pretty much everything. So if you make it all the way up, it's really going to increase everything. So I don't really go that far. I just keep it around 23. Threshold 0. Click OK. Once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and make a background. So press Command J to make a copy of our background. And we're going to increase the uh, the curves. So we're going to increase the color that we lost. So we're going to go over to Image. We're going to go over to the Adjustments and Curves or Command M for the shortcut or Control M for PC. So a little window pops up and it says curves. We're going to go ahead and right between this right here, we're going to go ahead and click and drag down. Okay. So this will kind of darken our image. Now over here, in this top right corner, we're going to drag up to increase <clears throat> to increase our color and and uh, our exposure a little bit. So just a little bit, not too much. You don't want to go crazy with this. And click OK. And then once you have finished, right click, flatten the image once again. And there is your final image, your final result. Of course, this is a huge picture, so if I zoom in, you can see all the detail that you have. So that is crazy. And this is a Bugatti, so who doesn't like Bugatti? So if this helps you in any way, then please leave a rating below in the description, in the ratings below. Comment in the comment section below. And let's go ahead and make it to 50 likes if we can. If we can. Can you guys do that? That'd be awesome. Sorry if, I haven't, I, sorry if I haven't been posting videos a lot lately. I've been busy with school and all that crazy stuff. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Have fun with this. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, guys.